Hey guys, uh, Mike with Iron Sleek. Excited to show you how to use the Rink Designer. So you go to ironsleek.com, you go to Rink Designer. Uh, this is a tutorial, so hang in there. It's going to be long, but we're going to cover a lot and you're going to love using this. Rink Designer, we have our Polysteel Premium boards here and then we have our DIY. That's what we're going over today. That DIY means you pick up your boards and we get you the balance, which is the kit, the hardware, um, the screws, all the brackets, everything you need to build a rink outside of the board. So let's click that. And when you get there, there's a few easy questions to start off with, which is surface type, grass, asphalt, concrete, wood. Those are the uh, most common. Grass by far is the most used terrain. But I mean, even to wood, some people build decks and we have the brackets where you can attach two decks to put in a rink. But you could change this later on. So let's start with maybe the most common that you have is grass. Um, what boards? 12, 24, 48 combo. Combo is nice because it starts you off with tall on the back and then 24 on the sides. But we're going to go with best value, which is the 24. You still get an enclosure feel and um, it's still cost effective. You could pick grid grounds at this point, but uh, for simplicity and cost effectiveness, we'll go with the lowest cost option, which is corners, square corners. I'm going to choose a 30 by 60 rink. You could pick any size you want. It'll just change your lumber cuts and it'll calculate it all out for you. 30 by 60 is a big rink, um, lots of skating, 1800 square feet. And then for your baseboard, we're going to pick none. That is a fluff feature. We recommend it, but... Uh, it definitely adds on to the cost. And in addition to that, you have foam topper and cap rail. We're going to pick none at this time also. We're going to submit that. And there you have your rink. This rink will show you the boards. And it will show you the hardware that's related to um, this kit. And what I want to address uh, as we continue to design here is this arrow. This arrow, you just toggle on it and it'll move it around. I like to use this arrow as a reference pointing back to the house. So we're gonna say the house is pointed back that way. Uh, with that in place now, um, let's just take a quick look at the price and uh, what you get here. It's $695, uh, it tells you what boards you have to get and then your hardware. So and if you add that to your cart, and you go to a shopping cart, let's say you're putting Massachusetts and you hit down a quote, it's about $126 for that rank to ship. But we'll get back to um, designing and uh, making this rank customized to what you need. So the first thing to talk about is the terrain. We chose grass, but it's very likely that a portion of this is on a patio. So the mechanics are these, you click the board and then you get of working, working options on the right. So if it's a patio, let's pick concrete. And then you continue to go here with the quick key is nice. You hit the B, the B. All right, we just sectioned off uh, a part here to be patio. And then the rest of it is lawn. Um, let me explain real quick what the white means here. The white means iron sleek bracket. That's a bracket that goes into lawn and holds up the boards. The blue is the Iron Sleek Hardcore Bracket, steel triangle, amazing versatile that would uh, adapt to the steel section of your rink. In addition to that, they're not shown here, but they're part of every, every kit, which is the uh, corner brackets. You get two per corner, so that's eight. And then the mending channel, which goes between each section of boards to keep the boards from uh, rabbit airing or spreading apart, makes a nice closed tight enclosure. So we have the surfaces uh, taken care of. Now let's look at the boards. We can make modifications to these boards real simple. I wanna start by moving a board. So let's look at this board here. Um, it's a smaller board and I'd like to put that somewhere in the middle. So you click the board, it's red, and then you just hit this over I'm going to put it right here on the house side. Uh, what's nice about that is I can then take this board, maybe make it 12 inches, and now I have a step in. Uh, 
keeps the enclosure nice and just one little opening where people can come in and out of the rink. So in addition to uh, moving boards, we can also change heights of board for hockey play. Let's say you wanna do slap shots on uh, this left side here. So you click the board once again, and then you pick uh, 48 inch boards. Okay, I wanna stop there for a second. You'll see that it put two little squares on top there. So in order to support a taller board, and this figures it out for you, you'll need a kicker. And that's where we have, uh, you'll see it'll add outrigger brackets. And then it'll also add to your lumberless a two by four. This is an outrigger bracket. It's got the latch on top and then the holes on bottom. And then those two holes there are for your ground stakes. You see the ground stakes are right there. Okay, so that's cool that it adds the hardware. We're gonna go ahead and finish the boards. One side's tall and you have a step in, um, amazing. So now we're gonna talk about the most important part of a rink, which is how to handle uh, water depth, pitch, pressure against the walls. So we have a chart and you choose your spacing according to the chart. Because this is an example, I'm gonna make some assumptions. I'm gonna assume that the water against this back wall and maybe these corners is uh, excessive. Let's say like 14 inches, 18 inches of water. So in that case, you click the board and you can change your spacing to two feet. So if the water um, shells out a little, maybe you go to two foot eight spacing. Um, and then maybe comes back down to a reasonable amount, like eight to 12 inches. And then you stick with our basic four foot spacing. So now we handle pitch and also notice it added outriggers because when you have a lot of water pressure, pressure, you need to stop your boards from tipping back. And that's what these little uh, squares on top will do. So time to add some fluff features and some fluff features would be, um, this is also a great playing feature, which is uh, adding and removing rounds. Look at that. Keeps all the information you could, had before and um, we're able to add the rounds. In addition to that, we can, this is a good time where we can add our topper or you can use cap rail. Um, it just adds right into your kit. I think topper is really awesome. And also if you wanna hit the bottom on your ice, we have four inch yellow base and we have eight inch yellow base. Looks like your rink is done and you still wanna make some changes. It's no problem. Uh, for example, let's say you wanted to make these rounds back to 24 inches. Just click the board. So now you have a rink with rounds and just tall in the back. We are super excited to help you design and customize your rink and succeed, save money and have a great year. We're Iron Sleek, we thank you for your time and hopefully we can uh, help you succeed in enjoying hockey fun this winter. Take care.